In the previous lecture, we understand how to create a simple header in the header template file. And we understand how to make this header dynamic using different WordPress template. So now, let's understand the very crucial part of WordPress, which is loops. So I'm going to just head over to my index.php file. And between these both template tags, I'm going to just write here. I'm going to just add here PHP tag. And inside it, I'm going to just first create a single line command and say loops. So before we start understanding what is loops, I need to first define it. So what is loops? So the loops in WordPress is a function that WordPress uses to display content on your site, such as a blog post and page content. The loop has a starting point and an ending point. Anything placed between those points is used to display each post including any HTML, PHP, or CSS tags and codes. Now keep in mind, the loops is one of the core function in WordPress. So make sure before moving to the next lecture, clear all the concept behind these loops. So let's get started and first create a simple loop in WordPress. So using these loops, I'm going to get the blog post from the MySQL database and display them in the WordPress website. When we started this course, we understand the basic PHP. In that PHP, we understand the variables, if and else statements, and different loops. So now, this is the time to use those techniques. So we're gonna start with the simple PHP syntax. So as you can see, we have a simple PHP syntax, and inside it, I'm gonna just add a PHP loop. So the WordPress loop is start with the if statement. So I'm gonna start with the if statement, and inside this expression, I'm gonna say have posts so i'm going to call a template tag have post and just start that inside this if statement i'm going to just call a while loop so i'm going to just say here while and in the condition i'm going to say have post and inside this while loop i want to print the content of my post so i'm going to first call the post template tag and then call the content template tag so this is how you can create a simple loop to grab all posts from your MySQL database and display them on your website. You can use these loops to display blog posts or pages. Now before I explain this loop, you can notice we have here curly braces. Now in WordPress, sometimes it's hard to figure these closing brackets. So the WordPress uses a simple colon syntax. To understand this block, WordPress just created of these curly braces and instead of starting this curly braces, WordPress use colon here. And at the end of this block, WordPress use an if statement like this. And the same way, the while loop is also used. So I'm going to just get rid of this curly braces, the opening curly braces. And instead of specifying this opening curly braces, I'm going to just call colon here. And to end this while loop, I'm going to simply call and while and then specify semicolon here now this is the very simple way you can create wordpress loops now let me just explain this code so as you can notice here we just started this loop inside this opening and this closing php tag and inside it i'm going to have if statement now we use if statement to check if your site has post most of the time you have post in your site even when you first install your wordpress so the if statement will check if if your site has post and the if expression will return true and then enter inside this block. We're going to start the while loop using this while keyword and end with this end while keyword. Now anything between this while and this end while repeat for each post that display. Now if you just open your dashboard in the dashboard you can notice if you just head over to the settings and open the reading reading sub menu you can notice here. We just selected blog pages show at most 10. So on the every page, I'm going to display 10 blog posts. If you want, you can change this setting as well. That's depend on you. The WordPress display maximum 10 posts on the single page. You can change this setting by using a simple dashboard reading option. The while loop tells the WordPress to grab the post from the MySQL database and display them on your page. The loop close with this and file keyword. 
Now, if you just take a look at this if and this while loop, you can notice here in this expression, we have have post template tag. Now, if you want to read this have post template tag in a plain English, you can just simply say if this log has post, then I want to do this. So, if the site meet this condition, if you have post, the WordPress proceed with the loop, the WordPress proceed with this loop and display your post. If it doesn't have post, the WordPress display a message that no post exists. So when the loops end with this end while keyword, the index template goes on to execute this footer. And then it just display all the content inside this footer on our page. You can notice in this while loop, we have the post. Now let me explain what is the post template tag. Function the post check whether the loop has started and then set the current post by moving each time to the next post in a queue. For example, if we have two posts in the loop, the post has the first post at the first iteration. And for the second iteration, it has the second post in it. Now you can notice after this post, after this the post template tag, I'm going to have the content template tag. Using this the content, we're going to fetch all the data of the blog post from the MySQL database and display one by one in this index file using this loop. So the loop is very simple. We start this loop by using if statement and then in the if statement, we're gonna check if we have post in our blog post, then I'm gonna just execute this while loop. And in this while loop, I'm gonna just check if we have blog post, then I'm going to get my first blog post and display its content. Then the while loop will iterate and change its blog post to second blog post. Then we have second blog post in this the post. Then I'm going to print the second blog post content on my website. As simple as that. So now if we just save all the changes and execute your website. You can notice you have your blog post content on your website. When you execute your site, you're not going to get anything here because you set the page as a home page of your website. So let me just change this setting first. I just get the content of my website. So I'm going just back to my reading setting and here you can see we have set the home page as a static page. I'm going to change this setting to your latest post and save all the changes. I'm going just back to my website and just reload it. You can notice we have a content of my website. So now using this the content template tag, I can get the content of my website as simple as that. Now let me show you how you can get the title of the different WordPress blog. So let me just create here a comment for this the content template tag and just say here get blog content. So we use this the content template tag to get the blog content. And just up here I'm going to create another single line comment and just say get blog post title. And I'm going to call here a simple template tag called the title. So using this the title template tag, I'm going to have my blog title on my index page. When I save the changes, you can notice here when, when I reload my website, we have here a title. So this is my first blog post and this is my second blog post. So this is my first blog post title and its content. And this is my second blog post and its content. Now if you take a look at the source code of this website, then you can notice here we have the first post and we have this content inside this paragraph. You can notice we have this content in the paragraph to the second blog post also. So the WordPress wrap this content inside a paragraph automatically. You don't need to wrap the content inside a paragraph manually. So using this loop, we're gonna get all the WordPress blog content one by one and display them in the index file. Once we know that, how we can use this while loop and display all the blog posts in our site, let me show you how you can add sidebar to your website. So just after this blog right here, I'm going to just create here a PHP tag and just say here get sidebar. So I'm going to call a simple WordPress template tag get sidebar. When I save the changes and reload my browser, you can notice I have a default sidebar here. In the sidebar, we have search option, my pages, my archives, my categories and the meta section. Now this is just a simple a default sidebar. 
which you will get with WordPress. If you want, you can change its styling as well. What if you want to modify and just customize the sidebar? In that case, WordPress provides a simple template file which is sidebar.php. So let me just create a simple basic sidebar.php template file inside this WP daily root directory. So inside this directory, I'm going to just create here a new file and name that file sidebar.php. I'm going to use a simple template file sidebar.php. And if I just call here h3 heading tag and just say sidebar, when I save the changes and reload my browser, you can notice I have my simple sidebar here. So now using this sidebar.php template tag, you can customize your sidebar. So in the next lecture, we'll understand how the WordPress recognize all these template tags and specify their own design and layout using a simple template file. In the next lecture, you will completely understand how you can use different template files in WordPress and specify different design and layout depending on the files using different WordPress template files. So, I will see you in the next one.